Welcome to A Player's Guide to Music Theory. I'm Mark DeYoung. Today we're going to explore a concept I refer to as mode mixture. The use of the word mode I'm referring to is just a group of notes in the context of a parent scale. For instance, the major scale. By the way, a scale is just a group of notes in a sequence, but I digress. I believe that the awareness of modes can really help musicians in a lot of areas, including sight reading, in playing and memorizing tunes, their ability to recognize different tonalities, and especially useful and in fact essential when it comes to improvisation. If you're watching this video, I'm guessing it's very likely you are already very familiar with the major scale. Did you know that the scale also has a mode name? The major scale is also known as the Ionian mode. So when you play concert B-flat scale in band rehearsal, you are actually playing B-flat Ionian. Kind of cool, right? In under two minutes, you have already learned your first mode. So here is concert B-flat Ionian, or major scale, on the tenor saxophone. <laughs> Melodies can also be thought of in terms of modes. For example, when I play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, since all the notes are found in the major scale, I could suggest that Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is in the Ionian mode. <laughs> Here's a little exercise for you to try. Play happy birthday on your instrument. Notice that all the notes in the tune are written in the major scale or in the Ionian mode. Okay, so you may already be aware that there are 12 different major keys. So 12 different Ionian modes. Over time, it'll be helpful for you to eventually learn all 12 keys, but we're not gonna focus on that today. Let's go back to the Ionian mode. When you play the scale, try thinking of each note as a number. So seven different notes equals seven different numbers. I'm playing concert B flat or C major on the tenor saxophone. So C would be one, D is two, E is three, F is four, G is five, A is six, B is seven. So each note has a number. Assigning the note names to numbers is really helpful in learning the scale because it helps you transpose that scale to other keys when you're ready to do so. How do you think of the notes in the scales? Do you think note names? Do you think of the keys on your instrument? Do you think of the keyboard? Do you think of the notes on the staff? Or do you just let your fingers do the walking on your instrument? Before moving on, let me just suggest that if you play the scale without thinking at all, you don't really know the scale. The best way to know the scale is to think of all the above. Can you say the note names and move your fingers on the instruments at the same time? Can you sing the notes and say the note names as you're singing them? For instance, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. A really good way to learn the notes in the scales is to write them out. Get a piece of staff paper, a pencil, and write out each of the notes, ascending and descending. It's a great way to practice. Once you can do all these things, you really know the scale. Next, we're going to explore the sound of a new mode, and we're going to do that by altering just one note of the major scale, or the Ionian mode, in order to create another mode. From now on, I'm just going to refer to the key of C major, 
just to keep things simple. Technically, I'm in the key of concert B-flat, but on the tenor, I'm thinking in the key of C. So remember how I asked you to think of the notes in terms of numbers? So now count up to the fourth note in that scale, concert B-flat major. So for me, I would go C, D, E, F. F is the fourth note. Now I want you to raise that fourth note by a half step. It's F sharp. Now I want you to say the notes in order. C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C. And back down. C, B, A, G, F sharp, E, D, C. Next, I want you to play it on your instrument. <laughs> Notice how it sounds very similar to the Ionian or major scale, but that fourth note kind of tweaks the ear a little bit. Congratulations, you've just learned the Lydian mode. So as you can see, playing C Lydian for me is not really difficult if I already know C Ionian or the major scale, because it just has one note that is different, the F sharp instead of the F natural. In jazz, we refer to the sharp four or raised four a lot. And the sound of Lydian gives a very bright sound. I consider the Lydian mode the brightest of all the modes of the major scale. A good exercise to practice is to play the two modes back and forth, alternating using the raised four and the regular four. Lean into the sharp four. Have some fun with the tension that it creates. If you know a few scales on your instrument, Play each of those major scales, and then play the equivalent Lydian mode by raising the fourth degree. If you can go back and forth comfortably, then you'll really know those two modes. Let's try it. Here's concert C major. <laughs> Here's concert C Lydian. Next up, we're going to go through the three modes that we just explored by changing one note at a time. So this means we're going to start with the brightest mode, C Lydian, with the raised four, then lower that fourth note to the natural four, that gives us the Ionian mode, then we're going to lower another note. But first, let's start with Lydian. <laughs> Next, I'm going to lower that fourth degree, giving me C Ionian, or the major scale. The next mode that we're going to explore is called Mixolydian. You might notice that all the mode names of the major scale have Greek names. I think of Mixolydian as the same group of notes as the major scale, but with one change. The seventh note is lowered, or flat. So C Mixolydian would have the notes C, D, E, F, G, A, and B flat. Let's play it. <laughs> seventh has a really distinctive sound and it's used all the time in blues, in jazz, in popular music, as well as classical and folk music. Now practice playing notes from the Mixolydian mode. Once you are comfortable doing that, practice playing random notes from each of the three modes we've learned so far. Start by playing the mode in sequence, then play some random notes from the mode. Let's try it. Here is C Ionian. Here is C Lydian. Here is 
the C Mixolydian. <laughs> Here are some random notes from C. Mixolydian. Okay, we're now ready to move on to our next mode. This one is called Dorian. So keep the notes of the Mixolydian mode, but we're going to lower the third. The third is lowered, and so now our collection of notes is C, D, E flat, F, G, A, B flat and C. Here's what that mode sounds like. In the jazz world, there are entire tunes based on the Dorian sound. Check out So What by Miles Davis or Impressions by John Coltrane. So here's an exercise that you can try with the Dorian mode. Write down each number of the notes in the Dorian mode in random order, using each number only once. For example, if you were to write 1, 4, flat 3, 6, 5, flat 7, 2, and then 1. Now try to play that sequence. Let's give it a shot. Write another sequence. Try again. Apply it to the three previous modes that we've learned. If you can do this a few times without making any mistakes, you really own the mode. Congrats! We have now gone through four out of seven modes, so that means there's only three more to go. We are now ready to tackle the last three modes in the major scale. I call these modes the mysterious modes, because they seem to have a bit of a spooky effect on us when we try to learn them. Probably because so many notes are flattened, it seems difficult to remember them, and they tend to sound a little bit more mysterious. So we're going to explore next the Aeolian mode, otherwise known as the natural minor. It's called the natural minor because it is a minor scale without any alterations, but again, I digress. Just remember that we are only changing one note from the previous Dorian mode, which had a flat 3 and a flat 7. The next note we are going to change is the 6th degree. So in total, compared to the major scale, Aeolian has three altered notes, flat 3, flat 6, and flat 7. In concert C, the notes would be C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat, and B flat. Let's play through the Aeolian mode ascending and descending in concert C. <laughs> was Concert C Aeolian Mode. This mode might sound familiar to you as it is the mode used exclusively for a well-known Christmas carol, God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen. If you are unfamiliar with the tune, here it is. <laughs> from this tune come exactly from the Aeolian mode. Now play the Aeolian mode again. Did you notice how the flat 6 has a bit of a downward pull and it takes effort for the sound to leap upwards towards the flat 7? <laughs> that flat 6 to 5 is the downward pull that I'm talking about. Well, thanks for sticking with me so far. Two more modes to go. Flat 2. That's the next alteration. 
Compared to the Aeolian mode, which had flat 3, flat 6, and flat 7, the next mode, which is called Phrygian, adds the flat 2. So the notes in concert C would be C, D flat, E flat, F, G, A flat, and B flat. So let's play the concert C Phrygian mode. <laughs> Does it sound familiar at all? Maybe have a listen to the opening prologue of The Fellowship of the Ring from the Lord of the Rings trilogy as composed by Howard Shore. The music in that movement definitely evokes the sound of the Phrygian mode. And what I really like about Phrygian is that half step right above the root. It kind of has a, a very mysterious tone to it. Again, one of the reasons why I call this one of the mysterious modes. This leaves us with one more mode to explore, the Locrian mode. Take the notes of the Phrygian and change one more note, lower the fifth degree. So the scale in C concert would be C, D flat, E flat, F, G flat, A flat, and B flat. Let's play it. Concert C, Locrian. <laughs> Another way that musicians like to think of Locrian is it is really just the major scale starting on the seventh degree. The whole mode sounds a bit melancholy, but that's because of its unresolved nature. Again, the point is to be aware of the sound of the mode and take away the possible unfamiliarity of the lower tones. To recap, if you move from the brightest mode, Lydian sharp four, towards Ionian, major scale, lower the seventh, Mixolydian, lower the third, giving you Dorian, Aeolian, flat three, flat six, and flat seven, Phrygian, flat two, flat three, flat six, flat seven, and Locrian, flat two, flat three, flat five, flat six, flat seven, all by changing one note at a time, you will increase your awareness of tones the moods, and be less intimidated by accidentals and key signatures with lots of sharps and flats. One last but important suggestion I would like to make is to build your familiarity with these modes slowly, but in three ways. First, learn each mode as it relates to the major scale. Second, learn each mode in all 12 keys. And third, review all seven of the modes in one key. Thanks for checking out Mode Mixture. I'm Mark DeYoung.